Our next feline friend is Bam Bam. Bam Bam is one to one and a half years old, and he's what we consider his color to be red tabby, and he's a domestic short hair. Um, he actually came in with a friend named Skippy, and what we do when animals come in together, we assess if, if they are what we consider bonded. If two animals don't necessarily need each other for their emotional well-being, we will separ separate them, or at the same time, we will adopt them out together, but we don't necessarily make that a requirement. Uh, if you've watched this show in the past, I know you've seen animals that we considered bonded, and we would say these animals have to go together. So uh, when Bam Bam came in, it looks like he wasn't neutered, so we just neutered him uh, recently. And uh, like I've said with some other animals, uh, we've brought him up to date on rabies, distemper, we deworm, we give him flea and ear mite preventative, um, and then test him for feline leukemia and feline AIDS. So Bam Bam is what's considered a Hemingway cat, or a more technical term is polydactyl. So he has some extra toes on his uh, feet, on his front feet. And uh, some people look for that in a cat. It's, it's a unique characteristic. Uh, some cats have it so much so that the extra finger or toe is so large that it almost looks like they wear mittens on their front paws. So like I said, uh, they're also called Hemingway cats because Ernest Hemingway's house in Florida is known to have a lot of polydactyl cats that live there. So Bam Bam was brought into us because uh, the folks were moving and they could no longer take care of him. Um, you know, that's a common theme that we hear, that people move and they can't take their pet. We encourage people to obviously use us as a resource, but please make us your last resort. Uh, often it's very stressful for an animal to come into the shelter, especially for cats. And even the most stress-free cat can be a little overwhelmed by the amount of traffic that's on our adoption floor. So I just encourage you when you come to our, our, our facility to keep that in mind when you're visiting a cat room. Um, if you have a kid, I have young kids, try and encourage them to be calm and a little quiet. Um, but then also be patient with cats that you visited. Sometimes it takes a little bit to see the best in a cat that's here at the shelter. We get so many happy tales from people that adopted a really shy cat at the shelter and they tell us it's one of the best cats they've ever owned. So Bam Bam, once again, he's a year and a half old. He's a red tabby male and he's looking for his next home.